We've got a rabbit in this cage, but what we're going to do is um, demonstrate um, what would be the correct setup for um, a rat. Uh, we would have a bottle similar to this, uh, maybe a little smaller for water. Um, that way they, um, they have the little um, ball in the tube to drink out of. And then we would also have um, a couple bowls of different types of food. Uh, maybe uh, some pellets and then we could also add some um, fruits and vegetables um, making sure that they're not raw um, and then we also um, want to make sure that we monitor how much they eat um, because they can overfeed themselves um, and that would lead to them being a overweight, which we do not want. Um, you want to feed approximately 5 grams of food per 100 grams of body weight. Um, so you can kind of just monitor, instead of the hay at the bottom, uh, we would have maybe some newspaper, um, or they have um, kind of some almost foamy type feeling bedding that they have for, um, for rats that you can use. That way um, they don't have any inhalant problems from the um, any wood chips or um, have the opportunity to potentially scratch their eye or something of that nature. As far as enrichment um, and kind of general housekeeping, um, you'd want to make sure that they were kept away from predators. So something like a, a cat or anything, you would definitely want to keep them as far away from that as possible um, just to keep their stress level down. Um, and then you would also, um, what you could do is add some toys in. Now you want to make sure that the toys are, um, non-toxic, um, and not coated with a plastic. Um, you don't want any paint on them. Um, but making sure that they're something that if they were to chew on or something, it would not hurt them. Um, and as far as identification goes, um, we, there's many ways, um, in large groups, um, we could use cage cards, put them in cages here, or if they were smaller, um, you know, identify them by their markings by um, tags, you can put um, tags, you can do microchips, um, and you can also do um, different types of, um, especially for rats and mice, you can do different types of um, toe amputations to mark um, which, my, which mouse or rat is which, and then from there, you can go ahead and um, make sure you keep track in the chart of different things that may affect those, um, or different things that the map that the rat has, in order to identify the correct rat if you were to administer any type of medication or have to do anything with the rat.